Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So let's just get started here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck and we have the Empress. Okay. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have a Libran or a Taurus energy. Okay, so here's what I see, Scorpio. I do feel like this is someone who is, you know, very passionate about you. I do feel like it's someone who's still very attracted to you, but they could be wanting more in this connection, okay? And for a very select few of you, you may have children with this person or that's something that, you know, you guys uh, spoke about. So I'm going to start off by seeing how they are currently viewing you. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so they're viewing you as someone that they want to invest in. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, it could be like, the path to marriage it could be uh, you know a, an opportunity that could lead you to you know uh, stability here so this person may feel like yes you are well off but they could also feel that they could build a very stable connection with you and as i say that you guys have the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so this is someone who definitely is wanting a change with you and they're wanting to invest in this connection they see the potential here they they're thinking about how it is to uh you know build or how it would be to be in a family with you and for some of you, you may, again, like I said, have children with this person and they're wanting to reconcile or they're wanting to return home, if you will. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So what are the mutual energies or the challenges you guys may be facing? Okay. The Ten of Cups. So it actually came out sideways. So it could be, you know, the Ten of Cups could be the energy of what is, uh, you know, crossing here. So in other words, like what is either helping you, what can either help this connection or what can hurt this connection. So for many of you, you know, off the bat here, I did see the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, now the Ten of Cups. The main thing I see here is your person may want to be in a commitment with you. You know, they're thinking happy home, you know, happy family, happy home, that kind of energy, but it's about how to come together here. Um, you know, Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Justice, and the Nine of Cups. This person wants to make things right with you, Scorpio. I feel like they're viewing you as someone who is a perfect match. They may feel like you are someone who um, makes them feel very balanced. And they're viewing you as very caring, very nurturing. But when you have the Justice card, that's about making things right or wanting some sort of reciprocity. You know, equal give and take could be what they're mainly focused on. So let's get a little more on the Ten of Cups. The moon. So you may feel that this is a connection where there may be, um, you know, a lack of expression or you feel like this person was never really as open about their emotions. Um, maybe like you feel like you definitely felt the um, intensity of the connection, but you feel like they weren't as expressive, like they weren't really telling you how they felt or what they wanted moving forward. But, you know, Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords and the Temperance, I think that's something that they want to change now because this is someone who's rushing in to not only make peace with you, they definitely want a new beginning. We're seeing the Ace of Cups now and we and we do see the ace of pentacles and the moon can also let me know that this is what's hidden from you like maybe you intuitively feel it but this is definitely someone who's focused on a commitment with you but i can also see why maybe there's a doubtful energy because the moon could speak about you know something that's suppressed something that you don't know or something that is not clear to you as of yet okay so let's see how you're viewing them Six of Pentacles, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have the Hermit. You may view them as someone who was very generous with you in the early stages of the bond, but you may feel like, you know, they, they became very isolated or things started moving very slowly between the both of you. Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man. This may also be someone who's silent with you because they, um, you know, because you have them blocked with the Nine of Wands or they feel like they don't know how to get through to you at this time. Empress again behind the... Uh, uh, the hanged man so they are thinking of you they are thinking of a commitment but i feel like for some of you you're viewing them in a six of pentacles energy which is 
yes, you do see some sort of, uh, you did see some sort of effort from them in the past, but you also feel like the effort was, um, it wasn't long lasting or this person would put forth the effort and then they would remain um, isolated or to their self. It's almost like you feel you had to like read this person's mind or break down some sort of wall to fully understand what they were thinking or how they were feeling. Okay, the hermit could also be a little bit of like a lone wolf energy. Like some of you may feel like this is someone who did communicate to you that they were very used to being on their own, you know, or maybe they were, you know, single for a very long time or they just enjoy being in their own company. Regardless, you feel like you wanted more expression from this person. You wanted them to tell you how they felt and what they wanted moving forward. Because there is an energy with the moon also of you having to figure something out on your own. So like, Maybe you feel when some when this person was upset or when they were choosing to be a little bit standoffish or detached, you had to kind of figure out why that was because, um, you know, it was more so about like your person not expressing it to you or being direct with you. Okay, so they're viewing you in the Ace of Pentacles energy. Hmm. So how do you really feel? The Queen of Wands, okay. We did see that earlier in your spread. We have the Chariot, the King of Swords. So there's something here that you want to speak about, something you want to, you know, um, make very clear. So it could be that you just want to have a conversation where you're expressing how you feel. Maybe you want to express how you feel about a particular situation or an event that occurred between the both of you. Um, but with the Queen of Wands in your emotions, I do see that you're, you know, you're passionate about this person. You're very attracted to them. But there may be an energy of you standing by what you said. Because the Queen of Wands could be a very confident and bold energy. So there could be a decision that you've made and you're kind of like, I don't want to go back on what I said or I don't want to backtrack at this time. So let's get a little more on the Queen of Wands here. Ten of Wands. It's almost like you feel a very heavy energy or you feel like this connection is feeling a bit burdensome in one way or another. So the Ten of Wands could be where you either feel like it would require a lot of work, you know, to have a new beginning, you know, to, uh, you know, come together with this person, or you're just, when you're thinking about the bond, when you're thinking about the past with this person, you feel like it was either very one-sided or you kind of had to, um, like there was a lot that you had to carry. The Ten of Wands is a very uh, heavy energy. It's feeling like, um, you know, maybe you feel like you've tried everything you possibly could to find a solution, but you're at the point of like, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, so I do see that. And we also have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which means some of you could be focused on betrayal or you could feel like after all the effort and after all the energy and all the love that I poured into this person, you may have a question of how they could betray you or how they were able to, you know, leave you hanging or, uh, uh, you know, be in a separation with you. So there could be questions about that as well. But mainly in your feelings, I see that you're standing firm in a decision that you've made, but you also feel like something about this connection feels very difficult. It feels very heavy. So even if you think about a new beginning, you're like, oh man, you know, now I have to do this and that. And, you know, I have to, you know, potentially try, like, it's like rekindling something that exists, but you feel like there's so much that has been done where you're like, you're having a hard time letting go of the heavy aspects or the negative aspects of the bond here. So what is the 10 of cups? It's like you seem to be exhausted in your emotions and you kind of feel like I'm just going to stick by what I said or I believe what I believe and I'm just going to stand my ground and stand by that at this time. I don't I don't think you're really feeling like you want to put forth um, much effort. Four of Pentacles could be an energy of holding back, um, but Ten of Wands could be you trying to complete a cycle or close the door on this connection, even though it feels um, even though it's difficult to do, you feel like it's all it also feels difficult to be in a bond with this person. You understand what I'm saying here, Scorpio? Um, what is the Ten of Cups? Four of Wands, wow. Bottom of the deck here, the Eight of Swords. Your person really wants to come together with you, and I feel like this is someone who can't stop thinking of you. 
Um, you know, with the Eight of Swords, their thoughts are making them feel stuck. But it's almost like the more they think of the situation, they feel like they're on a hamster wheel. So some of you may view this person as like a like someone who's up in their head a lot, who, who you know, lives in their mind, where you may be looking at it as, okay, there's a lack of action though. But the Four of Wands clarifying the uh, Ten of Cups here, guys, this is an energy of someone who definitely has reconciliation on their mind. You know, they want to come together with you. Um, but I do see that there may be certain uh, thoughts that are affecting them or Eight of Swords could quite literally speak about restrictions like where um, someone feels like they want to connect with you or speak to you, but there's something else they need to take care of or something else that's currently in the way. Okay, what is the moon? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Okay bottom of the deck here the chariot we also have the king of swords the ace of swords this person may feel like you want a form of closure but they could be wondering if you're doing you know better off without them or because nine of pentacles yeah it could be an energy of like enjoying your singlehood but it mainly speaks about like being uh financially stable being um you know fulfilled on your own so they do see you in a very beautiful light and with the queen of wands you are exuding a lot of you know confident energy here so it could be that they're like okay is this the same thing that's on scorpio's mind i also feel guys like even if this is someone who's coming off as you know uh you know, maybe like their uh, energy is being pulled in different directions or they're more focused on work. With the moon, there's a lot they're not telling you. And what's interesting to me is their desire versus how they're acting towards you or how they, you know, because with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands, it's like, okay, I want to come together. I want a reconciliation. But they may be going back and forth between that or do I stick, you know, to myself? Do I stay on my own at this time? So there is a bit of indecision here. Okay, so Six of Pentacles is how you're viewing them. Let's see how they really feel. This could also be someone where, like, since the separation, they have been working on their self and they feel a lot more stable or they feel a lot more confident. That could be something that's hidden from you because with the Nine of Pentacles clarifying the moon, this could be someone who has done the work or if they were not in the most stable space when they were connecting with you, they're, they're you know, they made the effort to work on that or change that. Um, so let's see how they really feel here. Seven of Wands, okay. We have the Justice card. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra, and we also have the Four of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. In this person's emotion, guys, uh, or in their emotions and their feelings here, with the Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords, they're definitely feeling guarded, okay? Seven of Wands could be someone who is, like, you know, guarded, could be an energy of feeling blocked, or there's something in particular that they're feeling very defensive about. Now, moving on to the Justice card, that is someone who wants to make things right with you. I did mention this earlier. And... Four of Swords could also be, you know, someone who is hoping that there is a blessing or hoping that there is an opportunity that you could, uh, in, that the both of you could potentially reconcile, you know, in this window here. This, this person is, you know, uh, blessing the person that is, uh, you know, on on uh, on their knees here. So it could be that they're wanting a blessing or they're wanting a change, but they're thinking about this in a period of solitude. It's almost like they're remaining in, in a very composed manner. They're like, okay, I don't want to show my emotions right now, or I don't want to show Scorpio how much this is affecting me. But with the Seven of Wands as well as the Justice, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of... Um, like their, their emotions are kind of all over the place because it's like, I want to make things right with Scorpio, but I'm also defensive or I'm also holding back um, from, uh, you know, I'm also feeling like I need to be held back at this time. Seven of Wands, again, guys, like there could have been something you said or something you figured out that could be causing this person to feel defensive. Um, but it's like they don't know what, like how to feel or they don't know if they trust the situation. This could even be someone who's potentially fearing your response. Okay, so let's see the potential outcome. Like they are trying to heal from what has happened. There is a desire to come together, make things right. But there may be something that they don't see clearly. Usually when the moon comes up, it could speak about distractions. It could speak about what's in the unknown. Pretty much what is causing uncertainty. So when they want to, when they think about coming together with you, they may be like, okay, well, is it all in my head? Or I don't really know the reality of the situation. I don't really know how Scorpio feels. You know, that sort of thing. So what is the potential outcome?
Two of Swords, okay, Page of Wands. There, It's highly possible this person could be reaching out to you because the pages in the deck are messengers, which I'm going to clarify. It could happen very unexpectedly with the um, tower on the bottom of the deck here. But, it, but again, guys, Two of Swords, Moon, there's something they're uncertain about, something they're not seeing clearly. Two of Swords could also be an energy of someone picking and choosing what they want to acknowledge. You know, that's what that's why she's uh, blindfolded there. Like it could be that they're seeing things from their perspective, but they're having a hard time understanding your perspective or they know from their end they want to make things right with you. But on or they want to invest in this connection. Again, they're viewing you in the Ace of Pentacles energy, but then they could feel like, I don't know if Scorpio is on the same page. Like there's some sort of uncertainty that is um, holding this person back. But let's see what do they want to say with the Page of Wands. They feel like there's something that's confusing, like the moon could be, um, you know, it could be um, like distractions or it could be illusions. And they're kind of like, is this in my mind or is this the reality of the situation here? So the page of wands is being clarified by the lovers, bottom of the deck, the five of swords, the devil, the wheel of fortune. This person is aware of what they need to release. So whether it's, you know, their, their thinking pattern, whether it's the indecision here, and they're trying their best to follow their internal compass also. I, I truly feel like there's something this person feels guided to do or they intuitively like they're receiving a download here um, and they're and they're feeling, you know, guided to move in a certain direction. But with the page of wands as well as the lovers, I feel like this is someone who does feel very connected to you and it's something that they cannot deny. But if they were to reach out to you, I think it would be them expressing how they feel and they would um, their emotions have not changed. They still feel the uh, you know intensity of the connection here. But two of swords in the moon lets me know there's something that they're uncertain about. So something else they may want to communicate to you is maybe questions about what's really going on or how you feel because the reason why this person's having a hard time making a decision is not only do they feel like it's a large decision something that that they just can't you know like a decision they can't make overnight they feel like there needs to be other like there's um, questions that they have that need to be answered or there's other things that they're curious about before they make this decision it's like they don't want to blindly uh you know jump into something or or come to a conclusion without knowing the truth of the matter so Let's see what they want to communicate to you. And I feel like even if they communicate with you, like you'll know that they're still in between worlds or they're like a decision has not been made yet is what I'm getting at Scorpio. So a decision, you know, has, you know, needs to be made or, you know, um, that's what would need to happen in order for you guys to move things along. But I feel they have a lot of questions or they feel like there's so much I don't know that I, I can't really jump to, you know, a, a conclusion. Can So this could be someone who who's like, can Scorpio be more open with me or I want to have a conversation with Scorpio so I can know how they feel feel um so what does this person want to tell you i replay our conversations over and over okay so this could be someone who's reminded of you know the conversations maybe even reminded of something that you said um you know in particular you and i were too young so there you know age could be uh, a large factor here or they may just feel like things were handled in a very immature way bottom of the deck it says the timing just wasn't right for us i will wait for a sign from you so with the four of swords as well as the seven of wands maybe they're feeling guarded because they're used to you reaching out or they feel like if you guys were to reconcile then maybe by now you would have uh maybe broke the silence broke the silence between the both of you or you would have you know um uh, gave them a sign but this could also be someone who's like playing some sort of a waiting game you know this could be someone who feels like well scorpio seems attached or they don't seem interested but if they show me that they're interested or they show me that they um you know are still thinking of me then you know maybe i'll reach out like they're really fearing your response and they don't really understand how you feel i will say that two of swords in the moon could be like what is really going on you know or like when you have a lot of questions and you're feeling very confused i do see that in your person's energy here okay so anything else Okay, so it says, I hate who I really am from you. Again, moon card could be um, illusions, dishonesty, you know, um, uncertainty, what they did not tell you, what they um, did not, <clears throat> you know, be what they were not open about. And then we have the, um, I bury myself in work. <coughs> Excuse me. I bury myself in work to forget you. 
And I feel like for, for many of you, Scorpio, like I do feel this is someone who wishes they were more open with you or more expressive. Because even when I opened your spread, that was the main download that I was receiving. Like someone that you wanted more from or someone that you, like you wish they were more open about how they felt instead of you having to read their mind or figure them out. Okay. So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.